Maryland sports fans, there's only one sports book in the great state of Maryland with over 50 years' experience booking bets and supporting customers. Bet Fred Sportsbook at Long Shots is now open and is the only sports book in Frederick offering cash betting on football, basketball, world soccer, and more. Visit the Bedfred Sportsbook at I-270 and MD-85 in Frederick, right next to Longshot's Off-Track Betting. Go to BedfredSports.com for more information and your chance to win exclusive merchandise. Must be 21 or older. Play responsibly. For help, call 1-800-GAMBLER. I'm David from Oscar and the Birdman, and you're listening to The Loud Spot with Sebastian. There you go. He sucks. (laughs) That's all there is. You fucking suck. Your band's horrible, piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit band. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, boy! Ah, here it comes! The motherfucking loud spot! That's right, you're listening to the almighty hot zone! Doing the intro to the loud spot podcast! You got this! Hey, see you later. What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Loud Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian Cosby, right out of Oklahoma City. I have a band for you tonight, a band called Oscar and the Birdman. So tell me why you guys picked that name, Oscar and the Birdman. Isn't there already a rapper named Birdman? Yeah, but um, he's kind of a... He's he's kind of a hip-hop producer and... And I'm kind of an experimental music producer. Um, I, I think in all fairness, I have much more notoriety than he does. And um, I, you know, I just let my body of work speak for itself. I, I, think, you, I think you're trying to ride on his coattails. I think that's where you're wrong. Well, I think I'm right. And I heard some of your music earlier. Kind of sounds like shit, man. Well, I think that's a matter of opinion. Uh, we have we have what news of fans that would gladly disagree with you. You have no fans. I went to your Facebook page. You have like, like I just a couple fans that are probably bought. Is what is what I'm thinking. Well, I'm gonna once again. I'm gonna disagree with you. I know we have hundreds of fans because they have been bought and paid for. I can't help it. I can't help it, dude. You guys suck so much. You have a song called Muchachos Nachos. I mean, was your fucking singer fucking stoned in a hotel room somewhere fucking a fat girl when he came up with that name? It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me either. I mean, it's probably the best song ever made. And I, I gotta let you know right out of the gate here, I'm I'm a little bit offended by, you know, your lack of seriousness um well, if you guys weren't so bad i think i think i'd take it more seriously but i heard the songs and i was like holy fuck what are these guys doing you know as the well, old about, you know what how about you just take a minute play the song and let it speak for itself well you want to do muchachos nachos first well let's get into it what are you waiting for let's do it right now muchachos nachos oscar and the bird man Muchachos nachos, muchachos nachos, muchachos nachos, muchachos nachos. Muchachos nachos, muchachos nachos, muchachos nachos. Oh, 
cabrón. Do you guys have any songs in English? Well, um, I've sent you the audio. Have you not taken the time to listen to anything? You know, I heard a couple of it, but I specifically was wondering about this song. The whole thing, this is a fucking America, dude. We speak English in this goddamn country. Well, America is a melting pot, and I don't know what ethnicity you are, where what your background is, where your parents come from, but... I'm, I can almost say for certainty they would be extremely disappointed in you right now for you saying what you just said. Well, you know, as the old retarded Chinese conductor once said, and a one and a two and a ching chong potato. <laughs> that's the funniest shit ever. But that's, you know, what, that's what that reminds me of. I, my, my uncle has autism, and I've got to take offense to... You using the R word. Retard. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, I thought this was going to be something about, you know, you being interested in my music and wanting to spread it to, to increase my fan base by a couple people. Um, did you not do any research on me before we... Well, I, I did, and I do want to ask one thing. The name of your first album from 2014, so you guys have been in yeah. a band for six years. Six years. Have you guys played any world tours yet? No, we haven't played any world tours. We have played a few bedrooms and bathrooms. Um, I did do an opening set for a polka band that came through out in Yukon. Um, I've done a lot of solo stuff without Oscar here recently. Um, I've uh, kind of branched out and I think the majority of the music that I'm creating nowadays is about 30 second songs um catered strictly uh catered strictly to uh ring toy uh, ring ring tones for android phone users have you played any concerts at all besides besides polka besides besides polka concerts and bedrooms and bathrooms no not really um but I, I'm I haven't quite been to Belize, but I hear my music is big over there. <laughs> what, is, what, what, what? So you guys came out with an album in 2014 mm -hmm. or 2015? R roughly, yeah. <laughs> and did you guys get... Did you, your album's called Probably Not Famous. Why did you go with Probably Not Famous uh, as the album cover? If, are, if you guys are serious, are you a serious band? Are you guys really trying to do something, or are you guys just in it for fucking no reason at all but to fucking sound like shit and make people want to turn off their radios? You keep talking about how my music sounds like shit, but I re distinctively recall you saying that you just cruised through our music when I when I sent you the wave files. I, I don't really think well, you're giving... It wasn't um, that great, to be honest. Well... But I had already agreed to do the podcast. I didn't want to let you down, so I decided, you know what... Maybe they'll get a couple of likes. Mostly, I hope you guys get some dislikes. And that would just make my day fantastic. Well, I, you know, it's a little disheartening. I, I was hoping that we, we, would, we would have something here. We would make some magic. But, you know, I think at least for your listeners, you should... Um, you should treat me with a little bit more respect. Okay. All right. Fine. New question. We're getting to the tough questions. Let's hear the tough ones. After you came out with Muchachos Nachos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you ever get laid after that? What's that? Did you ever get laid after you came out with Muchachos Nachos? Like the girls still want you? Were they wanting to be with you? Or were they like, you know what? Your band sucks and go... Fuck prostitutes, if you can even get those. Well, 
I mean, to assume that girls wanted me in the first place is quite a stretch. Ah. Yeah. And I can't say that, you know, it's, it's my, my sexual preference is nobody's business, you know, and if I had to lose my virginity to a prostitute, that's, that's just the way it goes sometimes. I can't, I, isn't that how all boys lose their virginity? Maybe the guys from Oscar and the Birdman. And you guys don't even spell bird right. It's B-Y-R-D. What? Oscar and the Byard Man? It's Birdman. Well, I think you should spell bird regularly is what I think. It is a family name. Oh, bunch of retards over there. Where are you from, Missouri? I am from Missouri. I My family so. comes from Kentucky. <laughs> is that a guitar? Can you play the guitar? Yeah, I can. Let me hear a jingle. I wrote a song, I wrote a song specially for this moment. You know, you guys are going to get a, uh, a sneak preview of this uh, new song that I wrote. You ready? Let's do it. This interviewer sucks. He doesn't know a fucking thing. This interviewer sucks. <laughs> so, before I play another song, your next song is called Open Eyes. Now, when I got the file, it looks like it was called After Venus with Open Eyes. The band used to be called After Venus for some strange reason. Yeah, um, there were some drugs involved. Ah. And there were some women involved, not prostitutes this time. And, you know, it was uh, late one night. We were trying to find our sound and what came with it. So uh, Oscar came up with this atrocious idea of calling ourselves after Venus. And I just... I went along with it because I didn't I didn't really think it was that good, but I didn't have anything better to contribute. Wow. Um, but eventually, you know, we we realized that what we had done was pretty fucking stupid. So we brainstormed and come up with something a little less stupid. Well, I think your guys' name should have been called After Penis because you guys fucking suck dick. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Maybe Oscar. I have sucked a dick or two in my time. <laughs> well, Oscar probably definitely has that fucking... He just sounds like a 300-pound fat dude. Well... pole smoking uh, fat dude who eats bologna all day. You know, I hear he still lives with his parents out in California. Poor guy. Um, you know, I, I know he's going through a rough time right now. Just play another song, man. You're making me sad. Let's do it right now. From the band After Penis, I mean Oscar and the Bird Band, this is Open Eyes.
So, how did you and, that was a really crappy song, by the way, how did you and Oscar and the, or how did you and Oscar meet the first time? Well, um, I was on the South Side, and I was just... You look like uh, a South Sider. I, well, you know, I was, um, Yo, dirt there was motherfucker. there's this place over by uh, Old Paris Flea Market, and it's one of those... Um, you know, it's it's one of those jack off booths. It's a place where you go in, you you pay your money, you watch the porn, you can jerk off right there and walk out. And as I was walking out, cleaning myself up, he was just hanging out there trying to hit on dudes. So we struck up a conversation, and you know, we we hung out, and he you know played the drums, and I was a DJ for a little while, and you know, one thing led to another, and uh. We're back at my house making music, and then the whole after Venus thing happened. And and realistically, Oscar is his middle name, and and Bird really is a a, a family name. It's it's uh, my uncle's name and my middle name. So he came up with an idea. Hey, let's do this, and so we did it, and started making some of the best music the world has never heard. I would call it Puerto Rican white trash sound. My opinion. What kind of sound would you say it is? Uh, it's uh, completely experimental. Um, I would, no one I listens mean, to experimental music, though. Like, I mean, it never makes I mean, it big. I mean, like, like what experimental band's huge right now? Why would you do that? And why are you a band if it's only two people? Well, there are plenty of bands consisting of two people. Well. We're no different than... than Skrillex? Than, <laughs> well, he's a one-man band. I mean, I'm trying to think well, of... Well, it should be a two-man famous, band. I'm trying to think of famous two-man bands that we're just as good of. I mean, the White Stripes, they're a two-man band. We're just as good as them. There's a female in the band. How do you call them two-man? Uh, well, I mean... Fucking misogynistic be, over here. Well, uh, trust me. Oscar's not very far off from being a female himself. I've heard that myself. As I've actually heard that. Uh, he tried to reach out to me... And I just had to tell him no. But I'm, ha- I'm happily disappointed that you came onto the show. We don't appreciate it very much at all. Um, I would consider your band experimental rock dance stupid. <laughs> You're just reading that off of something that somebody said to you about us. No, I, I read a, uh, someone else's article on Facebook that had mentioned that actually. You know, I tried to do some research on the band. There was really nothing to find. You guys just don't have a lot going on. You started in 2014. It's been six years. No concerts. No music videos. Uh, I think there was one for Muchachos Nachos on YouTube. Hey, hey, can you hold on a second? Hold on a second. Hello? Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, grab me some chicken nuggets. Okay. Love you too, Mom. Bye. So you just take a fucking phone call in the middle of a podcast interview? I'm hungry. I'm not going to cut that out. That's staying and I want everyone to know how disrespectful you are on this podcast. Rude. Um, Relentless well, and rude. For a shitty band to do that, you're surprised I don't hang up right now. But I'm going to get through this fucking podcast because I feel sorry for you, man. I just feel sorry for you. Well, I'm starting to feel like Joe Dirte here. You kind of look like Joe Dirte. Yeah, well. 
you know, he's, he, he's, he's actually somebody that made something of his life. And, you know, um, I'll take that as a compliment. So what are your, what are, what is Oscar and the Birdman's plans for 2021? Probably but, nothing, but I did hear, I, I did hear a, a, someone had mentioned to me when I saw they made a post, I was doing this. You guys are actually going to be working with a band called Sleep for the Week because you guys have a really shitty song out right now. It's a Kid Cuddy cover called Day and Night. Eh, eh. Hopefully, hopefully the band Sleep for the Week, who I love, they're a great band. I got to call Steven out to this, make sure he really, really wants to do it before he throws you guys out some credit like that. This is coming out in 2021, is that what I hear? Well, it, it's it's kind of got a soft release right now. Um, you know, I was I was working on some music, and I was trying to work on... You know, I was just doing some experimental things. The Kid Cudi thing came to me, and I was like, you know what? I need to write, reach out to Oscar to see if this is something he would be interested in doing with me. And, um, you know, at first he was pretty hesitant, and he... Uh, Did he even know the song? Sounds like he was no. reading it off a piece of paper the same day he went to go record it. Um, that sounds fair, yeah. Um, what a piece of Oscar, shit that guy is. The, the thing about Oscar... He's not very cultured. You know, like I, like I said, when I met him, he was just hanging outside a jack-off place trying to pick up dudes. He's not been around the world. Uh, you know, he just, he, right, like I said, man, he's still living in his mom's basement. He doesn't get out much. Probably has a, a, a really bad porn addiction. <laughs> just, he's just this kind of guy he is. You can't fault him for that. Everybody's got their their addictions. And... So he lived on the south side going to jack off booths. Yep. Every day probably. Day and night. That's probably day why you guys night. did the cover song. He was there day and night doing these jack off booths. He moves back to California. Yeah. He didn't stay in the um, south because the, the band's from Oklahoma, is that accurate to say? That well, yeah, we are. We did we did get our starts here in Oklahoma. I think, you know. I think Oscar developed a pretty bad substance abuse issue and he just had to get away from everything. I think all of the, the lack of fame was getting to him and yeah. I, everybody needs a break from lack of fame. So we well, probably uh, are never going to be famous as the, uh, the label of your first album states. I heard, I did hear there might be a greatest album coming out. A great, a greatest hits, hits album. album. Yeah, greatest hits album. We're we're what a waste to tell me you're gonna put the same fucking songs from the first album onto the greatest hits album. Well, yeah, but they'll be remastered. <laughs> they'll be remastered. So I mean, you know, it's like a whole new song. <laughs> hey, no, it's the same songs. It's the <laughs> same songs, but remastered. No one's gonna buy them the second time. Nobody bought them the first time. What? Why is this such a great idea? It's the fucking worst idea I've ever heard in my life. I'm really dependent on this this podcast to to help boost Oscar and the Birdman into stardom, superstardom. Um, I, I I I had high hopes for this. I thought this was going to be our our breakout moment for us, <laughs> and it's rather unfortunate that it's taking the turn that it has. Um, I. Man, to all of your listeners, all five of them, I really hope you know that this is paste, posted on social media. Oh, I'm going to post it to embarrass the shit out of you. You what? What? I hope that your five listeners share this broadcast on their MySpace pages, <laughs> and everybody has a great opportunity to hear our music. You know, our our goal is to try to hash out a, a song every three to six months. And then we'll come out with another album, and and hopefully, you know, it will, it will give you a. Hopefully, we can change your mind on the on the type of musicians that we are. Well, you know, I just think that your singer Oscar, he really brings no lyrical value. He he can't sing, obviously. He has no voice, no talent. It sounds like you're just like, hey, write a song to this and rhyme the words. I mean, that's just not real talent. That's just saying. You know, ham, spam, bam, flam. 
There's no, there's no and, meaning. There's no nothing. There, nothing. On another song, he rhymed, he rhymed the words uh, Yahtzee and Nazi. Who the fuck does that? We're not even playing that song. It's going to offend everybody. Uh, honestly, I mean, I think Oscar is probably um, the Tupac of our generation. And his vocal stylings are are just as good, if not better, than Shania Twain. You know, I, I, I disagree. I, I disagree. I don't think he holds a note. I don't think he, he. I don't think he plays any instruments. It just doesn't sound like. You know, I think the band would be, be, would be better if you found maybe another singer. Not to give any credit to you at all, but by any means, I would never want to give you any kind of credit like that. But I think if you found a new singer, you might have a glimmer of maybe playing a backyard concert with Insane Clown Posse in like twenty years. Hey, you, you know what? It's, it's a start. It, I, I'll take it. I mean, Shaggy, too dope. He's. I can't think of anybody better. Maybe, maybe a song with a Krispy Kreme. Well, he, if you happen to know anybody who knows anybody in his camp, or if any of your listeners out there can put a, put me in touch with him, that would be absolutely fantastic. You know, I did. I did hear a guy. Uh, I think his name was not Krispy Kreme. Another Krispy Chatta, something like that. He's from Detroit. Maybe you guys can get hooked up with him and do a song because he's kind of right up your alley with suckness. That well, maybe he would be willing to do a song with Oscar and the Birdman, and it might actually gain you some more fans than this podcast ever. Well, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to lose listeners because of this. Is what I think. Well, it's it's Crispy Chetta. He's from the Boston area. He goes by La Chetta also. I did reach out to him. We were talking about a few things. I sent him a couple tracks that I thought would be great for him, and I never heard back from him. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I I don't know that he ever got him, though. Um, I've reached out several times, and there's just no response. He blocked you, bro. So he blocked you. I would have. I would have blocked you too. I would have done it. You know your day and night cover song. It's okay. You know you're doing. You're really doing. You're really doing Kid Cudi. You're making him look bad over here. Is what you're doing. Actually, I think we're making Kid Cudi look good. I I think if, if he was able to hear our song. It would definitely get his stamp of approval. As a matter of fact, he would probably try to replace Oscar in having me as his music producer. But the loyalist, the loyalist that I am, I could never do that to Oscar. Well, you're such you're such a nice, nice guy for throwing your pity. I will say that about you. You're being nice, giving Oscar, throwing him, throwing him a little bit, of, a little bit of love because of you feel sorry for him. I get it. We all feel sorry for somebody sometimes. But, you know, sometimes you got to let things go. But honestly, you know, you don't have a lot going on either. But, you know, it's, 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 it's neither here or there. It's neither here or there. Why don't we play? Why don't we play Day and Night and we'll let the listeners hear what they think about it. That sounds fantastic. Day- Whatever it takes to get you to shut up. <laughs> day, day and Night by Oscar and the Birdman.
Rolling Stone to make the solo go low. He's on the move, can't seem to change the fate. Within his dreams, he sees the life he's made. Made. The pain is deep. A silent sleeper, you won't hear a beat, beat. The girl he wants, so you do want him to. It seems the feeling that she had a dream. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night He's all alone through the day and night The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night At, at, at night Day and night The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night He's all alone, some things will never change The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night At, at, at night the temple blows up and creates that new, new He seems alive though he is feeling blue The sun is shining, man, he's super cool, cool The lonely night They fade away, he's in white night He's so sweat and then he's on the way To free his mind in search of To free his mind in search of Search of day and night The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night He's all alone through the day and night The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night At, at, at night Day and night The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night He's all alone, something will never change The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night So I happened to look through the deep, 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 dark web, and I, because I tried to do some research on you guys, I was really trying to find something good, and it looks like there is a music video for that song, but it's totally ripped off of a Prodigy music video done in the late 90s. How do you feel about that? I'm flattered. I think that, um, you know, somebody uh, took the time to do something like that for our music, Um which just goes to prove you wrong that somebody has listened to our song and somebody has taken the time to care about it. Well, if you didn't, do, if you didn't do it, I feel like Oscar just was bored one day, drunk as fuck, and probably went through and found a video that he fucking liked and threw your music over it. That that that's what I think. That's not that's totally not original, and it's it's just it's it's pathetic. It's really 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 pathetic. Um. You got nothing Amen. to say. You got nothing to say to that. You got nothing to say. I'm going to ask you, what's it? What? That's, what? That's like, that's like just your opinion, man. That's a fucking fact. It's a fact. It's a straight fact. I'm getting pissed off now about how shitty this band is ruining all over my podcast, just pissing on it like it means nothing to you. Well, uh, once again, um, I'm just thankful for the opportunity to be here. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to reach out to to the four or five people that that might be listening to this podcast. And once again, um, you know, we're we're here for you. Maybe you can find it in your hearts. To share our music and and um, no one, no one, give. no one sharing your music. No one sharing your music at all. I'm gonna tell Kick Rocks Entertainment, Candy Brown, and she loves us. I'm gonna specifically do not share this. Well, I don't know who, I don't know who you're talking about. Well, because you're not, you're not in the scene like I am. But I'm trying to be. That's that's the whole point here. I'm I'm starting to get the idea that that you're really just just more of a waste of my time than I am a waste of your time. What? If what? anything, what? you should be happy that I'm here because I am <laughs> going to boost your listeners to at least seven or eight by the end of this show. Well, what does it feel like to not be famous? Let's be honest. What is it like to be completely unknown in the music world with your shitty fucking songs that nobody wants to listen to? I eat a lot of bologna sandwiches. <laughs> well, you look like you eat a lot of bologna sandwiches. <laughs> and, you know... Do you, put, um, do you put mustard on them? Is that you like a mustard and bologna guy? You look like a mustard and bologna guy, you fat fuck. 
Well, with the lack of fame comes the lack of condiments. <laughs> well, Oscar, he he's not on here, but he just sounds like he eats a lot of bologna sandwiches. Fucking Can sausage please, pole smoker over there, that guy. I, I know you're going to share this with your fans. I have I've to. Got, it's, I have to. I, the show must go on. I've got thicker skin than Oscar, and I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't tag him in that post because... I, He's in a he's in a he's in a weird space right now, man. He may I haven't talked to him in a while, and I would hate for him to listen to this and have him never talk to me again. You know that poor son of a bitch. Tell him to get some fucking goddamn singing lessons and some writing lessons next time he tries to write a song. There's got to be another song of ours you could play. Ah, you know what? There's a song called "Dirty Dirty." What's this song about? <laughs> It's really about some chick that I used to fool around with, and and she did me dirty. And, you God, know, I think dang. everybody can relate to, to a significant other at one point or, or at one point or other getting done wrong. And, I, I, think know, I, I, I want to say that this song may reach out to the couple fans that you got, and it may... It may speak to him. So when you guys may, first started, you know, when you guys first started, I heard that, that Oscar was living with you. Is that correct? Yeah, he... Um, Poor he son of a bitch. Through, had to deal with that. Rough, he's going through a rough patch. You know, he had a substance abuse problem. And, um, you know, I caught him out on the street trying to sell his ass for money. And I said, son, come here. Let me talk to you. I took him in. And this is at, this is no, this is after this is after you met him jacking off on the south or, or talking to gay dudes on the south side, right? This is after this is, <laughs> this is after this is after the fact that he was jacking off the gay guys on the south side. <laughs> was he also doing heroin? Oh my god! Yeah. We call it booty bumping. <laughs> So he was booty bumping with the heroin. So is that the slang on the street for heroin? Boo- booty bumping? Or is that what you call gay guys jacking off on the south side? <laughs> he had to um, he had to do what he had to do to support his habit. And to sit here and listen to you make fun of addiction the way that you are. It it brings a tear to my eye, son. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I got some music to play. Okay, let's. We're gonna we're gonna play uh, "Dirty Dirty." You guys should have kept the name uh, after "Penis" for this song because it just sounds dirty. But nope, they changed the name to Oscar and the Birdman because it's middle names, family names, and a bunch of stupid shit. Dirty Dirty, featuring. I read this featuring Shane Stone, uh, some guy from uh, the old Oklahoma area. We're not gonna talk about him very much. But I feel bad for that guy for doing a song with you guys. Here you go, Dirty Dirty by Oscar and the Birdman. You make me scared, I cower down, I fucking bow my head. You drug me down, I climb back up, I arose from the dead. Go right ahead and clean me out, I'll be alright. You see, go spread your legs up in my bed, but it won't be with me.
That was Dirty Dirty by Oscar and the Birdman. On a more serious note, uh, Oscar and the Birdman is mine and David Tony's uh, project that we did start in 2014, and we know we fucking suck, but we do this anyways because it's our, it's our musical. It's our musical outlet, and I listen to rock music. David listens to uh, dance music for the most part, and we decided to kind of come together. When I was going through a divorce, I moved in with him, and we wrote a bunch of songs together, and we had a really, really, really fun time, late nights, drinking and partying, and, and writing some songs, man. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was um, very therapeutic for uh, what we were going through at the time. Um, yeah, because you, you're going through going, a divorce, too. Yeah, I was going through a divorce also. It helped us... Uh, Helped us cope with a lot of shit that we were uh, tackling at the time. And uh, it was a good time, man. And, I mean, uh, our music isn't for everybody, but it's not meant to be for everybody. It's meant to be for us. And we had a fucking blast making it. And, in my opinion, that's what it's all about. You know, I think it's the memories of making the songs. Yeah. That really stand out the most to me. It's not necessarily the songs themselves. I mean, I, I, now I do like muchachos nachos to me. Like the kids like it, and I'm saying fucking cabron, which is a bad word in Spanish. But the, the right. kids don't know that. Uh, right. And it's it, it, it's it's fun day and night though. We are really actually getting that song done. Sleep for the week is going to throw some heavy guitar riffs and do some uh, screaming and singing over it. I'm gonna come back redo the vocals. We got a sound engineer and a producer that is going to uh, mix it down for us. And so we're excited about that. David, you are a producer as well. Yeah, I, I, I think that's um, really stretching the term producer. <laughs> I, like to, <laughs> I like to have fun and do a bunch of dumb shit. But, you know, to, to touch base on what you said, you know, when we were in that house in Yukon and we were just hanging out all of those nights, if anybody was to walk into that bedroom and just see us dancing – <laughs> to the dumb shit that we had just made. Oh my god! Hours. They'd be like, "What the fuck is going on?" We me- me- remember that time we we did, we did a bunch of songs. We were just making a bunch of noises, and we thought we sounded really good. And then the next day we heard it, we're like, "You're like, dude, you don't even want to listen to that." And I'm like, "I'm going boom, ba," and you're like doing some other noises, and we did. <laughs> yeah, it was the worst shit ever. But you know, it's stuff like that that bands. And what's good about being a, a two piece band is we only have to worry about us. Yeah, we don't have to worry about this, and we get together w- during COVID. Obviously, we kind of haven't really been together as much rock music, but we do have fun doing it. And so, I hope everyone loves the banter, the back and forth uh, between Dave and I. Dave and I actually really met not on the South Side again, getting hand jobs. We met at work. Uh, we used to work together. Uh, God, two thousand eight, two thousand eight. Yeah, and we've actually had a, quite a few businesses that we started together and. Uh, he's invested in some of the things I'm doing and, and vice versa. And every time I have an idea, I try to drag him along with me. He normally comes along for the ride. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gets paid a little bit here and there. So yeah. so we did not play. We had another song called Windows Up that we're not going to play. We don't have time. It'll uh, be on the Greatest Hits album. It will be. Uh, we really are going to do a Greatest Hits album with the same exact songs. And they're not probably going to be remastered. They're probably going to be the same exact songs that we have now. <laughs> So, David, do you want to give any shot? I mean, I don't know. Do you have any any local DJs? Because uh, David is a DJ. That 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 you really do. You really do do. <laughs> you really you do do. do, do. <laughs> um, no, man. I I no real big shout outs to to DJs. Um, you know, I'm, I, the only thing I can really say is I'm happy to see uh, the cannabis industry really blowing up in Oklahoma. It's uh, uh, it's pretty awesome. I, I do want to give a shout out to some bands, uh, but instead of naming the bands, 
because there's so many of them I had I've had so far on this podcast. It's been a great um uh, so, uh, almost four months, and we've grown like crazy. I want to give a shout-out to every band that I've played on the podcast and have interviewed on the podcast and will play uh, on the podcast. I do want to give a shout-out to one person, though, um, Ashley. Uh, she'll be on the podcast tomorrow night. I, I, I think that everything, everything goes as planned, which it still seems like it is. And she is a man, she's like a management for hip-hop bands. So this is the oh, first, cool. it's going to be the first full, straight-up, Rap and hip hop show. We played some hip hop band. We played a hip hop band before, but kind of rock hip hop. This is a, this is a straight hip hop episode. We got four or five different bands that we're gonna play, and I look forward to that because in twenty twenty one we're expanding to all genres of music, all oh, genres. country, you know, if, rock, hip hop, everything. If Polka. I want to give a shout out to anybody, um, man, if anybody listening has an opportunity to hear Eric Bonilla or Eric Bone, whatever he goes by. Um, his shit is on point. And um, Corey Streeper's band, dude, that fucking song that yeah. he posted, legit as fuck. So, yeah, I, I, did, I can't think of the name of his band right now. But, uh, yeah. oh, I, wanna, I always want to give a shout out to Kick Rocks Entertainment. And, and you know what? Uh, you know, Jack's Diaries is awesome. I love them. And I will also give a shout out to uh, Diamond Noise Entertainment. Uh, yeah, Di- Di- Diamond Noise Agency. Um, Sam McIntosh, super cool dude. We're gonna have him back on uh, December fifteenth. So, and then every other band I've ever played on the show. David, I know it's getting late for you. Thank you so much for doing this banter with me. It was a great roast for both of us. I couldn't help but laugh. You know how I am, dude. Like you always, I don't know for some reason, like you say something fucking just the way you look makes me laugh, dude. Like I just, I just laugh all the time. <laughs> You, I'll take it. And you were holding it in. You were holding it in. And I was like, I, I was trying to get you to fucking go, dude. I was trying to get you to start laughing. And you're hard to break, man. You're really hard to break. You're really oh, hard to break. Awesome. That warms my heart. All right. Everybody, David, stay right there. Don't go anywhere just yet. <laughs> I want right. to thank all of our listeners, everyone who listens to this podcast, um, all of our fans, subscribers, everything. Happy holidays, everyone. Christmas, New Year's is coming up. December is going to be fantastic and awesome. 2021 is going to be epic. David, we're going to do some more shows like this. I loved it. Peace out, everybody. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. This is the Loud Spot outro by Nothing Short of Tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the Loud Spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does Nothing Short of Tragic have his back again? Does everything that's good really have to end? A pin post, half a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over.